what's up everybody welcome back to exotic as logic again and today we will discuss a very funny video yet very informative and very important what are the symptoms of an afflicted moon oh my god moon is afflicted here <laughs> my life is finished that's it end of everything moon is gone yes <laughs> So what are the symptoms of an afflicted moon? If you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and like this video, click the thumbs up if you like this video and watch it till the end. There you go. What is the first symptom of an afflicted moon? I will not go to astrology here. Well, that I will do in my basics astrology series where I explain astrologically what are the symptoms of an afflicted moon moon is here moon is there but as i always say you don't need astrology all the time <laughs> you can see in your life if these traits are there then irrespective of wherever moon is in your astrological bar chart your moon is difficult <laughs> Your moon is afflicted, it is either debilitated or exalted or with Jupiter or with Mercury, Saturn, Rahu, Ketu, it doesn't matter. It is in trouble if all these are there. <laughs> what is the first symptom of an afflicted moon? Oh my God. <laughs> He's going to throw the bomb now. Okay, let me throw the bomb. What is... The number one symptom of an afflicted moon. Yes, I will tell it to you now. The number one symptom is you do not like happiness. What did I just say now? You don't like happiness? Oh my God, this person is such a liar. Who doesn't like happiness? You do not like happiness. <laughs> if moon is terrible in your chart, you do not like happiness. Should I repeat? You do not like happiness. What it means is, you do not like those things which come to you easily. You do not like natural things. Do you understand? These people I have seen, if they are in a relationship and everything is going very good, then suddenly they will say, there's no fun in the relationship and it's very boring. Typical symptom of afflicted mood. Typical. This is like, this is too much I'm saying. They want disturbance in their life. If you give them a very nice documentary or if you show them very good videos of you know, very nice videos, something very uh, informative, something which is very something that will help you something that will make you happy that ha happy in the sense it will give you contentment but these people will not like these videos they will go and watch horror they will go and watch violence or they will go and watch politics or they will go and watch gossip like in India we have these shows Big Boss what is going on there <laughs> There are a bunch of people sitting and they are gossiping about each other. And then we are paying money to listen to them. Those people who don't know us. Yes. And then we are giving lectures on spirituality. That this path doesn't work. This spiritual guru is bogus. There you see. These are typical symptoms of people. With afflicted mood. <coughs> they do not like happiness. If you tell them that you will have a happy life. They are like. Come on, define happiness. What happiness is? Okay, happiness is like this, it's like that. I mean, there's some problem there, you see. Fundamental incompatibility. You cannot be yourself. You do not like anything in this world. This is number one symptom. Everything seems somehow to be very less to you. What is the second symptom of an afflicted moon? You do not like to take bath. My God. Should I repeat? You do not like water because moon signifies water. When you do not, when your moon is difficult, you somehow do not like water. 
when a person doesn't want to take bath what it means he doesn't like water <laughs> that is why in medical science if you go to psychology etc or whatever you want to call it that domain the first symptom of a person who is about to become mad not who is mad who is on the process of becoming a mad person is he or she doesn't like to take bath early in the morning or in worst case doesn't like to take bath or in worst of the worst of the worst case doesn't takes bath should i take a pause here <laughs> another symptom is how much ever water you drink or oh sorry the other symptom can be you don't like to drink water this is another symptom and the another symptom is how much ever water you take it doesn't heal your disease you get diseased very frequently because moon signifies the nakshatra and nakshatra shows vayu the amount of life here which we have so when moon is in a difficult state your immunity suffers yes what happens when you have diabetes your immune system becomes very weak right or when you have aids or whatever you call it any very serious disease that means your life here has it has become difficult for your life here to sustain the soul in this body the prana vayu is feeling difficult to sustain the atma in the body that means there is a problem with the nakshatra vayu prana <laughs> that means the moon is in a difficult state again as i said irrespective of it is in scorpio or in the 8th house or with saturn or rahu or ketu or mars irrespective of that what is another symptom of a difficult moon fluctuations mood swings terrible mood swings today suddenly you are very happy suddenly out of nowhere you are unhappy suddenly because of no reason due to no reason your mood suddenly changed no reason there's no reason there's no sane reason there's, there's suddenly there was no calamity nobody got a heart attack but suddenly your mood changed there you see difficult mood <laughs> what is another symptom your relationship with your mother is not very good it is in doldrums <laughs> <laughs> your relationship with your mother is in doldrums yes because moon is the mother there you go another symptom your nature is extremely unpredictable see it sounds familiar <laughs> you are a extremely moody and unpredictable person people don't know what you will do the next moment predictability is zero in you maybe it's in minus <laughs> maybe you are so unpredictable that you have become predictable the only trait of predictability that is remaining in you is that you are unpredictable yes that's so much predictability there yes okay jokes apart what is the next symptom as i said you fall sick when you take milk products that is another symptom or you like to take drinks which will harm you alcohol whiskey white dog blue dog black dog pink dog <laughs> and what is another symptom another symptom is gemstones don't work for you <laughs> because chandra is the karak for gemstone moon is the significator of gemstone so if you are taking gemstones and they are not working they are not giving any results probably your moon is difficult yes there you go symptoms of an afflicted moon funny isn't it they don't like happiness 
they don't like happiness if you keep them miserable they are very happy and you cry for reasons which others feel oh my god what's happened why is this a thing that you need to cry <laughs> unhealthy emotions today you feel for somebody and tomorrow you don't feel and day after tomorrow again you feel for the person there you see terrible situation so now the million dollar question is how to treat this affliction just see where moon gets exalted moon gets exalted in taurus which is what taurus is the sign of venus it is this sign of stability so that means if you are moon is in taurus you are very stable right no <laughs> for moon to be exalted in taurus one prerequisite is this is prerequisite actually because see moon wants to go to the house of taurus which is the house of venus and then it wants to be very cool there but for that to happen one very important prerequisite is the dispositor of the sign which is venus should be well placed <laughs> that means your the area of venus has to be controlled which is what sexuality luxury if these things are out of control in your life i'm sorry <laughs> wherever your moon is you have destroyed it you have not destroyed venus venus is already destroyed but with that moon is also destroyed if you are watching too much obscene material in the internet why too much even a bit is enough <laughs> if you are if your sexual sexuality has gone rampant there is no control you are losing too much of your vitality too much of semen you are wasting it day by day week by week month by month night by night without any reason just because that gives you some temporary pleasure things will go haywire for you but the question is what's the remedy then remedy is just see where is venus getting exalted venus gets exalted in the sign of pisces which is the sign of spirituality right so spirituality is the only remedy because by that you develop natural contentment inside you natural happiness inside you by which you do not feel the need to indulge too much in materialistic affairs i am not saying you do not get married or i am not saying do not purchase a iphone or do not purchase a macbook i am not saying that i am saying obsession and overindulgence this things will give suffering to the moon which is the original sign of scorpio obsession madness as they say in hindi pagalpan <laughs> so there you go signs of an afflicted moon if you are new to the channel then subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and see my other videos until next time wish you great luck with an afflicted moon <laughs> bye bye see you